the only male that gets pregnant. Do you believe it's true? Seahorses are not only famous for their strange reproductive habits, but are also highly valued for their medicinal and nutritional values. With the increasing demand from the market, seahorse farming is becoming a potential industry that brings high economic value. So is raising seahorses difficult? Let's explore. Raising seahorses in tanks is a popular model, suitable for small scale and good control of the living environment. Water filtration and aeration systems ensure cleanliness and high oxygen content. Water temperature is maintained at 24 to 28 degrees Celsius. Salinity is about 28 to 35 percent. Each tank is equipped with a substrate such as a plastic net, seaweed, or soft rope for the seahorses to cling to, helping to reduce stress and increase growth. At the same time, this helps them maintain balance in the water, avoid being swept away, and save energy. The most unique feature of seahorses is that the male carries the offspring instead of the female. Seahorses perform courtship dances by entwining their tails and moving together. After mating, the female transfers her eggs to the male's brood pouch, where they develop and hatch into fry. Male seahorses are pregnant for about 10 to 45 days, depending on species and environmental conditions. When the time is right, the male contracts the pouch to push the fry out, a process similar to giving birth in mammals. Newborn seahorses are very small. This is the most dangerous stage because the fish are still weak easily swept away by the current, or unable to catch food, leading to a low survival rate. When they reach two to five centimeters in length, they begin to wrap their tails around objects for balance. At six to 10 centimeters in length, seahorses gradually complete their shape, interact more with their kind, and prepare to enter the reproductive stage. Juvenile seahorses feed on zooplankton such as rotifers, shrimp larvae, and juvenile artemia. As they grow older, they may eat adult artemia, juvenile shrimp, and copepods. Adults mainly feed on small shrimp, 
minced fish, and processed seafood. After six to eight months of raising, the seahorses reach the standard size of 10 to 15 centimeters, ready to harvest. When harvesting, use a soft net to avoid damaging the fish. If the fish are sold fresh, they need to be kept in a clean, aerated water tank to ensure their health. After harvesting, seahorses can be dried by washing, drying, or drying at the appropriate temperature, helping to preserve them for a long time and retain their medicinal value. In addition, seahorses are also used to prepare many nutritious dishes and medicines.